a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Sandra O. Oh. Sandra Maduo is a Canadian actress known for her role as Christina Yang on the ABC medical drama series Grey's Anatomy, set in the United States. For her role, she earned a Golden Globe Award, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, and five nominations for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. She also had a supporting role on the HBO original drama series Alice. She has played notable roles in the feature American films Bean, Last Night, The Princess Diaries, Under the Tuscan Sun, Sideways, Will Be Wonderful, Sorry, Haters, Hard Candy, The Night Listener, Blindness, Rabbit Hole, Tummy, and Catfight. She has also starred in the Asian-Canadian films Double Happiness, The Diary of Evelyn Lau, and Long Life happiness, and prosperity. She won the Genie Award for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role and the Gemini Award for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Dramatic Program or Miniseries, for the first two films, respectively. Early Life Sandra was born on July 20, 1971, in the Ottawa suburb of Nepean, to middle-class Korean immigrant parents So Joon Shi and Oh Young Nam who had moved to Canada in the early 1960s. Her father is a businessman and her mother a biochemist. She was a brother, Ray, and a sister, Grace, and grew up in a devout Christian household, living on Camwood Crescent in Nepean, where she began acting in ballet at an early age. Growing up, O oh was one of the few youths of Asian descent in Nepean. At the age of 10, she played the Wizard of Woe in a class musical, The Canada Goose. Later, at Sir Robert Borden High School, she founded the Environmental Club Base, leading a campaign against the use of styrofoam cups. While, at Sir Robert Borden High School, she was elected as student council president. She also played the flute and continued both her ballet training and acting studies, though she knew that she was not good enough to be a professional dancer and eventually focused on acting. She took drama classes, acted in school plays, and joined the drama club where she took part in the Canadian Improv Games and Skit Row High, a comedy group. Against her parents' advice, she rejected a four-year journalism scholarship to Carleton University to study drama at the prestigious National Theatre School of Canada in Montreal, paying her own way. O told her parents that she would try acting for a few years, and if that failed, return to university. Reflecting on foregoing university, O said, I'm the only person in my family who doesn't have a master's in something. Soon after graduating from the National Theatre School in 1993, she starred in a London, Ontario stage production of David Mamet's Oleana. Around the same time, she won roles in biographical TV films of two significant female Chinese Canadians, as Vancouver author Evelyn Lau in The Diary of Evelyn Lau, and as Adrian Clarkson in a CBC biopic of Clarkson's life. 1994-2004, Early Work O came to prominence in Canada for her lead performance in the Canadian film Double Happiness, playing Jade Lee, a 20-something Chinese-Canadian woman negotiating her wishes and those of her parents. The film received critical acclaim, with Roger Ebert praising O's warm performance. Janet Maslin of the New York Times also praised her performance, saying, Ms. O's performance makes Jade a smart, spiky heroine you won't soon forget. O won the Genie Award for Best Actress for the role. In 1997 she appeared in the film Bean, playing the supporting role of Bernice, the art gallery PR manager. Her other Canadian films include Long Life, Happiness and Prosperity and Last Night, for which she again won a Best Actress Genie. She was cast in the drama Dancing at the Blue Iguana, playing a stripper at an adult dance club opposite Daryl Hannah. The film received middling reviews, though O was praised for her performance. The New York Times Review said, O may guess, the most of, her, opportunity to explore the vulnerability below, her, character's hard-edged surface. The same year, she appeared in the drama Waking the Dead. In 2002, O appeared in the family comedy Big Fat Liar followed by a minor role in Steven Soderbergh's Full Frontal. O received critical acclaim for her six seasons as Rita Wu, the assistant to the president of a major sports agency on the HBO series Alice, 
receiving an NAACP Image Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series, and a Cable Ace Award for Best Actress in a Comedy for her work. She also made several guest appearances on the series Popular playing a humanities teacher, and guest starred in the television series Kung Fu, The Legend Continues, Judging Amy, Six Feet Under, and Odd Job Jack. In theater, O has also starred in the world premieres of Jessica Hagedorn's Dog Eaters at the Large Ola Playhouse and Diana Sun's Stop Kiss at Joseph Pop's Public Theatre in New York City. In 2003, she was cast in a supporting role opposite Diane Lane in Under the Tuscan Sun, followed by a supporting role in Alexander Payne's drama Sideways. She considers Sideways and Evelyn Lau to be one of the two best movies she has made. 2005-14 Grey's Anatomy. In 2005, O appeared in several films, including David Slade's controversial thriller Hard Candy, and the independent anthology drama Three Needles, opposite Chloe Sevigny and Olympia Dukakis, in which she plays a Catholic nun in an AIDS-stricken African village. The same year, O was cast as Christina Yang in the first season of what became the hit ABC medical series Grey's Anatomy. O's long-running role on the show earned her both a 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Series, and a 2006 Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Drama Series. In July 2009, she received her fifth consecutive Emmy nomination for her work on the series. In August 2013, O announced that the program's 10th season would be her final season. In addition to her work on Grey's Anatomy, O continued to appear in films. She co-starred in the thriller The Night Listener, alongside Robin Williams and Tony Collette, in the superhero comedy Defendor, Ramona, and Beezus, and in the critically acclaimed drama Rabbit Hole, opposite Nicole Kidman and Aaron Eckhart, in her only audiobook. She played Bridget O'Shaughnessy in a Grammy-nominated dramatization of The Maltese Falcon, which also featured Michael Madsen and Edward Herman. She also has done a few voice roles in animation, including a few guest appearances in American Dragon, Jake Long, the voice of Princess Ding Ding in Mulan 2, and the voice of Dufa in The Land Before Time 13, The Wisdom of Friends. O was host of the 28th Genie Awards on March 3, 2008. In 2009, O performed in The People Speak, a documentary feature film that uses dramatic and musical performances of the letters, diaries, and speeches of everyday Americans, based on historian Howard's in The People's History of the United States. During the off-season hiatus from filming Grey's Anatomy in 2010, Sandro took the part of Sarah Chen in the British crime drama Thorn. She took intensive dialect coaching in order to play her British character. On June 28, 2011, it was announced that O would receive a star on Canada's Walk of Fame. She was inducted on October 1 at Elgin Theatre in Toronto. In 2013, O formally announced that she would be leaving Grey's Anatomy at the end of the 10th season. O exited the series, with the season 10 finale. 2013-present, further film projects. In October 2014, O announced that she would be teaming up with Canadian director Anne-Marie Fleming to collaborate on an animated feature film titled Window Horses. She also appeared in a supporting role in the comedy film Tammy, playing the wife of Kathy Bates. In 2015, she starred on the Refinery29 comedy web series Shitty Boyfriends. O began filming the comedy film Catfight in New York City in December 2015. Personal Life O was in a relationship with filmmaker Alexander Payne for five years. They married on January 1, 2003, separated in early 2005, and divorced in late 2006. On July 8, 2013, Sandra O received the key to the city of Ottawa, Ontario, from Mayor Jim Watson. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you 